All right, guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is by the time you see this. Um, going on a little tiny bit of a, um, well, I'll call it a rant, but more just expressing um, <clears throat> some, some uh, well, maybe tips uh, and also some little bit concern or frustration, I don't know, you know, with dog training, um, not only are we working with the dogs, we work a lot with the people. So uh, <clears throat> obviously, this, obviously this is a stressful time of the year uh, for many. Uh, a lot of emotions around the holidays and just quite frankly, a lot of emotions going on in the world right now. So, um, but, you know, you're asking, how does that involve my dog? Well, so guys, um, you know, there's a, we've been, you know, obviously receiving some emails and, you know, people expressing their frustration with their dogs or, you know, whatever. So, um, listen, so a few things, um, regarding dog behavior. So, you know what, don't always just assume that there's a, there's a fix it button. Okay. So, you know, you can apply, we can apply and then do follow ups and training. Um, and, and, you know, extensive training and what have you but you know what really a lot of it boils down to is not so much about what you do it's about what you project so um you know we just want to let folks know you know a lot of you know if you're, you've got frustration going on in in your life or um, around you um, your dog's going to feel your energy and a lot of dogs aren't cut out to absorb a lot of negative energy a lot of dogs aren't cut out to be able to process stress Okay, some dogs are totally fine with it. Um, uh, those, those type of dogs make great therapy dogs. Uh, a lot of other dogs just simply cannot process that type of stress. So don't assume that you have the right dog um, for, for you or what your lifestyle is or your personality. Um, it's definitely kind of putting this out there going forward with uh, people acquiring new pets for Christmas. Um, hopefully, you know, all didn't get a whole bunch of surprise um, dogs because uh, we really want to encourage people to know the breeds that you're adopting the breeds that you're buying and acquiring um, it is about matchmaking okay and many times we see um, dogs that are just simply not with the right owners or in the right homes that happens so might be a great person might be a great dog but the two of them combined just don't they don't work well together that happens so we want to remind people that. So sometimes it's just simply not a training issue. It's not a fix it issue. It's just not the right spot for, for the dog. It's not the right dog for you. That's definitely the, one of the messages. Um, you know, the second message is, you know, with stress and what have you, don't, don't always assume that your dog can handle, you know, parties, stress, change. Um, don't assume that your dogs can handle handling. I have one of my own personal dogs. She doesn't like her feet touched, so I don't touch her feet. That's it. One of Jose's dogs, he doesn't like his feet touched. Probably will bite you if you touch his feet. So Jose just doesn't touch his feet. We have to respect our dog's boundaries, okay? Um, know your dog, know what their limitations are. If they're quirky around people, don't have them out when you have a party or a house full of people. If you're gonna have them out, know what their limits are. Know your dog. Don't put them in compromising uh, positions or scenarios that are gonna, you know, uh, possibly cause them to make a poor choice. If they make a poor choice, that's on you, okay? Um, be responsible for your dog and help them be responsible for their actions. Don't assume that they can make the right choices. That's, that's up to the human. Um, also going forward uh, with the 4th of July, uh, stressful time, fireworks, we just want to let people know. Remember, super stressful. Uh, it doesn't necessarily help your dog to coddle them if they're having the stress, okay? Um, I get it. I'm a comforting person. I, I understand wanting to coddle them and baby them and tell them it's okay. They know damn well it's not going to be okay. They're scared shitless, okay? Fireworks are scary. The sound, uh, the booms, uh, all kinds of stuff. It's scary. So, uh, do your best, work through it. There is no fix it with the fireworks, it sucks. Um, it sucks that they even sell the damn things, so I'll just put that out there. Um, Y'all have a safe, okay, very safe New Year's. If you're gonna have people over um, and parties, just put your dogs up, okay? 
a lot of times they just can't handle the, the stress. They don't want to be touched. Okay, you think, oh, you know, everybody wants to come over and say hi to my dog. You know, a lot of times dogs don't want to be touched. Know your dogs, know the body language, know the signals. If they're in their bed or they've retreated to a bedroom or they retreated to a kennel, leave them alone, okay? Even some of the nicest dogs can nip or bite because they don't want to be bothered, okay? I get it. A lot of times I don't want to be bothered and I get feisty, okay? So we all have those moments and your dogs have the moments too. So uh, be respectful of your dogs, okay? Uh, you all have a safe uh, New Year's. Um, Jose's not here. I know coming from him, he wants everyone to have a safe New Year's as well. Um, <clears throat> but I just, I had a lot of going, going on my mind just with some stuff that's been going on over the last week uh, with dogs and clients and issues. And I wanted to put some tips out there and I hope that helps y'all. So see ya, bye.